Today I'm going to be doing a product review for you beauties. It's of a product called Jolie Lipsticks, Barbadian company, and I absolutely love their lipsticks. I've had them for about a month and a half, and I, you guys know I take a while to review things just because I play around with them a lot, I try them, I try to find out the best ways to wear them and how I like to mix and match products. So. That is why I have taken a little while to review these lipsticks, but needless to say, I think they are fabulous. Um, this review is going to be in various segments. It's kind of like a vlog slash these take slash lip service all rolled up into one. Basically, these takes are my views on products or services and lip service videos I love because I love lip products and those are videos where I basically talk about my favorite lip products at any given time or reviews on the lip products or tips as to how to wear them and how to care for your lips so all of that is going to be rolled all of it into one into this video so let's get started so I came across the company about a year and a half ago basically um, lipsticks were being retailed for them but I never really felt like purchasing any it never really drew me in I should say and about early this year or late last year I do stand corrected they launched a campaign a rebirth campaign um, I think it was called Jolie the rebirth they're rebranding I, the product formula actually changed and it was just so exciting it it really drew you in there were short little snippets of a model like emerging from the sea with wonderful beautiful makeup obviously lovely lip color and it it really would pique the customer's interest and it did pique mine and I was just like okay this seems really really cool but what was the deal breaker for me was an interview that I saw with the founder and owner Shaniqua Trotman who was a really lovely young lady she discussed having to pull the lipsticks off of the shelf off the market because she wasn't satisfied with the quality and basically it is a matter of integrity to her customers and obviously her brand and that just had me at hello that was like a Jerry Maguire moment for me because integrity in business and product is so important it is you know it, it products beauty products skincare products directly affect the customer but it is very hard to find people who have integrity in this industry and the mere fact that she came out with that and she decided to pull the product regroup and bring out something which she could truly stand behind I thought was very brave it was so commendable and it was fantastic so that had me at hello and basically I was like okay well I have to get to know this company a bit more I have to try out some products I was just ecstatic and excited to do so so I purchased three lipsticks I purchased one from their permanent collection and one from their spring 2013 collection I think it's fantastic that they're going to be limited edition um, collections I did talk to Shaniqua about that she said that it's an endeavor obviously you know to stay fashionable stay trendy um, make sure that it's you know fashion forward which we're all about here and yeah so that was really awesome and I'm so excited to see what they have in store with other collections now I'm a big lipstick person I love lipsticks so much I do um, love glosses as well but I'm really really into lipsticks so I didn't purchase any lipsticks this time around unfortunately but for those of you who love glosses they do have some really really pretty glosses out there for you um, now the three that I did purchase I have them here and this is the packaging first let's talk about this I love how it's packaged it's really really cute um, it's just a bullet that's the logo right there 
it's matte black packaging with just a little bit of um, glossy detailing here, which is cool. The labels are stuck onto the bottom of the lipstick. And what I love is that the top is see-through. So depending on how you package, sorry, depending on how you organize your makeup, um, I'm really big on makeup organization just because I have so much uh, in my personal collection, but I have them basically like in a little jar and I have them standing up and I can just look down to my jar and see the different colors and I love that. This is amazing and I hope that they never change this aspect of their packaging. Now, I did buy one from their permanent collection and two from their spring collection. As I said before, the ones that I got are Flaming Fuchsia here. And that's what Flaming Fuchsia looks like. I have swatches on my hand for you to see. That one at the top is Flaming Fuchsia. Then we have Merlot here. It's like a deep wine color. That is amazing. Right here. And then we have my absolute favorite matte raspberry, which is this color right here. And that just happens to be the one that I'm wearing. Let's start with the textures. Two of them are matte, one is a satin. The two that are matte are Merlot and Matte Raspberry. Now, to me, Matte Raspberry is a little more matte than Merlot. Merlot is leaning kind of towards the satin side for me, uh, but it's not quite a satin. Flaming Fuchsia is a satin, and basically that is, it has a little bit of shine. It doesn't have shimmer or glitter, it just has a little bit of shine and it's a little bit more moisturizing than the other two. Now, these lipsticks are very pigmented. They are very smooth. Sometimes when you get matte lipsticks, they can be extremely drying and the formula can feel kind of rough. And this formula is just really smooth. It's extremely comfortable to wear and I love that. Now, what I will say is that it's important for you to moisturize your lips with lip balm before you use any lip product at all. Uh, the best way to use these lipsticks for me that I've found is to apply your lip balm, let it sit for like a couple minutes, and then blot your lips and apply your lip liner, your Jolie lipsticks, and continue about your day. <laughs> now I love playing with lip liners and lipsticks. The lipstick I'm wearing is actually the matte raspberry. I've lined my lips with like a current or a deep cherry um, lip liner and I have the matte raspberry over that. Then in the middle I just have a little bit of flaming fuchsia to add a little bit of shine that you can see here. And I think that is so gorgeous. Every single time I've worn this color combination, I've gotten a million compliments about it. In the down bar, you are most definitely going to find links to pictures that I have taken of swatches of these lipsticks that are on my Tumblr. You're going to find links to my Facebook page as well as Jolie's Facebook page where you can go and check out the photos and you can set up an appointment to go to their office to view and purchase some of the products or you can have them delivered to you which I think is amazing. Uh, I love always love having that option of being able to order something and have it delivered just because we are busy people, okay? Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more reviews, please. Bye.